Hey, what's going on everyone? So, holsters. I just want to make a quick video on my journey uh, to finding uh, the setup that I have now. And uh, just to kind of show the struggles, if you do concealed carry, to find that perfect, comfortable, uh, versatile holster that, that honestly, that you're going to wear every day. Because uh, that's the whole goal. The best gun uh, is the one that you carry. I butchered that one. The Gus best gun you have is the one that's on you. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, this has been, this has more carry time than my Caltech P11, which is in a different role right now. Both guns have been cleared uh, for the video. Nothing. Alright, so I carried the Caltech P11, and I carried that in this Nate squared, tactical padded, inside the waistband, tuckable uh, holster. So that's why I carried that in for the whole time that I carried it. And now, like I said, that is in a different place right now. Um, still accessible and still there if I need it. But that uh, this Glock 43 replaced that. So I was like, hey, it fits. I'm just going to wear this. This is a really nice holster. I love it. Um, I'm not terribly skinny <laughs> so this would probably be way more comfortable as a uh, appendix carry for you thinner guys um, because when it's on the hip it just it's so thick I mean it's it's kind of molded right now but it's so thick and it just adds a lot of thickness even though this is a very tiny gun and then uh, appendix I feel like it wouldn't do this as much as on the side and that's what it did with me so when I got rid of the Glock 43 as a carry gun, well, I don't know what I'm trying to say. When I stopped carrying the Glock 43 as my primary, um, I threw the Glock 19 in it, and it worked just fine. But like I said about the thickness, and now I have more weight because I got 15 rounds in here and then one in there, just way more heavy. I was getting a lot of this. Um, so I started shopping. And get the 43 out of here. So there was that. I started shopping. And I had this for my 43. This is the Phobos inside the waistband. And this was way more comfortable. Just cumbersome to get on. You guys know how the dual clips are. Not really terrible of a, terribly an inconvenience. But I, through this whole journey of finding the holster that I'm at now found that I like single point a lot more and I just had to get a good single point and you'll see that with my other holster that I blew past and carried for about two days uh, so I really liked this so I bought a combat cut version of it uh, for this but I just found that the dual clip it's a lot more stable but if you need to adjust it and move it or uh, if you're going somewhere and you want to move it all the way to the small of your back or do something it's a lot harder to do than with a single point so that is where I figured out that I liked single point better um, and these are both universal um, as is this so I kind of started to go towards the way of um, I wanted a gun that was made for my or a holster that was made for my gun uh, so I got this this is for the Glock 19. It's a Houston. Um, I think that's just what it is, Houston. Uh, but look at this. Ridiculous. I had this gun just doing whatever it wanted. I carried this for like two days, if that. Um, and then the sweat guard for it was insanely sharp and protruding. Uh, that, like I said, I'm not super thin. Um, it just was insane. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. 20 bucks. Modified it. Made it work. Really didn't like it. I like the single point. I like that it was molded for the Glock 19. Uh, but just didn't work for me. So, that didn't last long. Giggity. Um, then the Urban Carry. Like I said in my EDC update video, um, recently this was bought 
for the Glock 43. Oh, and I just never got around to uh, getting one for the Glock 19. I I really do want to get one for the Glock 19. I want to get their new new style, but fits perfect. And then the Glock 19. Probably still could get away with it, but when there's a mag in there, it really protrudes and gives some funky shapes and stuff like that, but that's that. That doesn't really have anything to do with what I carry now. Just kind of wanted to show it and uh, say that I'm going to be getting one for this eventually. Um, and then here's where I'm at now. This is a custom 4 Glock 40, or 19, um, and it's by Raw Dog Tactical. It's a hybrid Kydex, adjustable retention, single point clip, an actual good one that has zero play. This is an inch and a half opening. My gun belt that I wear is 5'11", is an inch and a half, so it snaps on there with force. It's a thick belt, so there's zero chance of it. Um, actually sliding off or getting caught or, or uh, unclipping but here's what I landed on it's exactly what I was trying to find in all these other holsters uh, so this just kinda shows if you wanna find the right holster a lot of guys are lucky and you know nail their dream holster on like try one or two uh, but as you see I went through all kind of phases and trial and error of of universal padded single point double point um, all plastic or I don't, I don't think that's actually kydex I think it's more of like a polymer uh, to hybrid here that's kind of the Nate squared is kind of a hybrid um, if that shell was uh, kydex it would be but here's what I landed on and I absolutely love it um, it goes on super fast comes off super fast is made for the Glock 19 and uh, just is an amazing holster. Super comfortable with the hybrid, um, unlike that one. So I get everything that I was looking for out of one holster and I absolutely love it. Um, but yeah, guys, just wanted to share my little roller coaster ride of holster buying and basically waste the money. Um, so I'm going to keep them all around, maybe rotate them out, but. If you guys are subscribed and follow and watch my EDC update videos, there's a very slim chance that you'll see any holster for a good while other than this one, just because of how much I like it. The only thing that I wish it had was tuckable, uh, but I'll keep my eye out um, for similar ones with a tuckable feature. But it's going to be this style. It's going to be single point, um, and it's going to be hybrid. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for stopping by. If you're not subscribed, uh, please consider uh, like, comment down below, and uh, have a good one, guys.